Quite often I get comments asking how I do the screen recording on my iPhone, so I thought I'd make a quick tip to show you how it works. So to do a screen recording on an iPhone, first of all you need to add a new control to your control center. So we'll jump into the settings app, and then scroll down to the control center options. On this page I can choose what controls and options are included in my control center. As I scroll down you're going to find screen recording there, and I can tap the green plus button next to it to add it to my own control center. More than that, if I go back to the top, I can use those three lines to rearrange those icons. So for me, I'll put screen recording right at the top of my control center. Now we'll come out of settings, and we'll pull down the top corner of our screen to get control center up. Now in control center, we've got a new button for recording. Here I'm pointing to it on the screen now. Now we can just tap that button once and start recording straight away, but if we tap and hold that button, we can change a couple of settings as well. For example, we can turn the microphone on. That means that your recording will include your voiceover as you're doing the recording. With the microphone off, it will only capture the audio your phone is creating itself. You'll also notice the list of apps on this screen as well. These are apps that can access that screen recording, whether in real time like Zoom or Skype, or after you've saved it like Photos. I'm going to keep mine on Photos, that means when my recording is done, the video file will be put in there automatically for me. OK, we're going to come out of this screen and then tap the record button. At this point, that button will light up red, and it will give you a short countdown to start recording. Now because of the way I'm making this video on my Mac, that countdown isn't showing up, but it will show up on your phone. Then when you leave Control Center, you'll notice that your time in the top left corner of your screen is now in a red bubble. That means that everything on your screen is being recorded. Be careful because that includes notifications and messages as well. But now I'm recording, I can do whatever I like on my iPhone, so I can finish off today's puzzle in Not Words, which is a great app if you haven't tried it, and I can record the journey along the way. Then if I come out of the app, it will continue recording to whatever I decide to do next. To stop the recording, you can either go back into Control Center and tap that button again, but a much quicker option is just to press the red bubble in the top left of your screen where the clock is. That will stop the recording immediately, and now if I jump into my Photos app, you'll see it there saved for me. And of course, just like any other video, I can press edit, and I can crop or edit my video to make it slightly shorter. That includes getting rid of the initial part where Control Center is visible to tidy it up a little bit. And when I finish that, I can even zoom into my video and show you how high quality the recording is. And that's it for today's quick tip. I hope you found it helpful.